So we haven't spent a lot of time today, or really any, having time to get into what is going on with Carmelo, Anthony, and the Houston Rockets. Because it has been a bit of a mystery. He has been away from the team for two games for what has been described as an illness. Uh, didn't join them for their road trip to Denver. And despite the fact that their GM is saying that people speculating on his future is unfair, a lot of people believe that he could end up on waivers today. Here is uh, Woj talking about the Mello situation. His future is uncertain in Houston right now, and he was away from the team tonight with an illness, but they are discussing... Only 10 games into the season. Right. Houston lost again tonight. They're four and seven. Uh, nobody, even within that organization and that locker room players, imagine that there could be an ultimatum already uh, on Carmelo Anthony, but he in this in the Rockets are discussing his role. He shot one for 11 the other night. You know, he's shooting around 40%, but he's a veteran player. It's early, but his future is very much uncertain with this Rockets team. We have more from Woj. He tweeted four minutes ago. Here we go. Source on ESPN. With no ongoing discussions to rejoin the Rockets, Carmelo Anthony's reps spent Monday gathering information from NBA front offices to find a landing spot. So I guess his days are done in Houston. I wonder what changed. I, I, I predicted this when they, when they brought him aboard. He and D'Antoni don't click. They don't play that, the same game. You know, the friendship with Chris Paul means nothing. It's going to be very interesting. Tomorrow on our show, we have Jim Beheim. Jim has always staunchly def uh, defended his guy. And I want to get his take on this because I know he also likes Mike D'Antoni. But it clearly has not worked there. I think it's unfair to blame all of their problems on Carmelo Anthony. But this is a team that lost Ariza, who was a really good defender, and Umba Mute, who also was a guy that was important for them. That was two guys they could not have lost, and then they bring in Carmelo Anthony. It's not the same. Those two guys were defensive-minded. Carmelo has never been. They have enough offense with Harden and Paul. Uh, the intriguing part to me, where does he end? Does LeBron, who likes him and is friends with him, does he get him with the Lakers? I'm not quite sure because you, you're using up your chances. You got yeah. run out of Oklahoma City, you got run out of New York, and now you're getting run out of Houston. They might want to mess it, L.A. The Lakers have won five in a row. I was going to say, they're 7-6 and six now, playing over 500 basketball. Andrew pointed out earlier, and I think rightly so, it, it is reminiscent a little bit of the Iverson end. Sort of bouncing around from, from team to team. No place seems to stick. That's a bummer. He's a really talented, great player. He's a Hall of Famer. A Hall Imagine of Famer. Uh, an ignominious end for a Hall of Famer. Well, but his career is really going down in a bad way. Well, this just feeds into the whole narrative. You can't win with Carmelo Anthony. I mean, literally, they looked better over the last two games in Houston than they did when they had him there. But it's unfair because at this point of his career, you shouldn't be judging his career. But there was a lot of people went on record saying you can't win with Carmelo. And now he goes to Houston, a team that many people believe could give Golden State the best chance that maybe not coming out of the Western Conference to a team like this, and now he's not going to play, and then where is he? Nobody's going to want him. 